Come on, you want to be close in? Are you already recording? Yes. All right, everyone. All right, so this is how we're going to do this. In order to, best way to hang them up is I take their legs and bend them up like this so it makes their tendon pop out on the backside here. I run the knife between their leg bone and their tendon. Hang them up right there, hook it in between the hook. Take the other leg, twist it, bend its leg up forward to tighten that tendon up. Repeat. Hook it in. Pull the skin away from its body like so. Pull the skin away from its body and have to cut its organs open. You want to get a good cut up in it to get it started. You want to get where you can see it. Take your finger, separate its skin from the meat up in there some. Get it a ways up in there. That way you can see what you're doing. You lift it up in there. Oh, so you're not cutting the organs. Cut it straight up toward one of the legs. The left leg or the right leg. It doesn't make a difference. Whatever works best for you. I'm left-handed, so I'm doing the left leg. If you see, I'm going all the way up to the ankle here. Well, just like so. See that? Then I'm going to take the other side. Separate it out. Up to the first leg right there. See where I can see that leg? Right up in there. See that hole where you can see the leg? See that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Words. Yes. We can see that. Awesome. Okay, so you're going to take your finger in there, run it up in there a little bit to get a knife started. It's right up in there. You take your knife away from yourself. Cut that fur right there. Run it up between that. Just like so. Take the fur. Pull it separated out. Run your finger between the muscles and the fur to separate the body out. See that how I'm separating out between them? Mm-hmm. We see it. On both sides, you want to get all the way to its tail. All the way up to its tail. From its back side to its tail. Go on its legs. Do the Repeat. Do the same thing. Separate it all the way to its tail. Pull up the hair off. Sometimes it doesn't pull off. If it doesn't pull off, you cut it. Get the finger behind there. All the way up to their ankles, as high as you can. You want to save that fur. It's money. Okay, see it's not pulling off. You don't want to rip it up. Take it. Cut it off. All right, you got it to the tail right here. You pull the, You get the tail in your hand like so, like this. Squeeze it around like that, like you got a grip on it. Kind of like milking a goat. You squeeze off at the top and squeeze down right here and hold the good grip. Pull down. Take your knife between the muscle of the buttocks and the tail. You pull down on the tail. You slide the knife up just like so it cuts it off if you want to save the tail you go in there and cut that out that grossness out she's not saving the tail so we're just cutting them off as simple as so take it like that cut it off that way you're not losing a bunch of fur you take the fur like right after this is the best method i like because you can just take it like this and it literally just peels right off just like so see that pulled off right at each ankle see that pulled off take it afterwards you turn your fur inside out. Because see, it's bloody sometimes, especially at the neck where you cut it at. And you take it and go stick it in a bucket of cold water if you're going to save the furs. We're saving all of our furs. We're going to be doing a fermentation process on them to cure them. And what is that called, Mom? Um, I don't remember what that's called. Oh, you said it earlier. <laughs> I did, didn't I? Yeah. Well, that's how we do it. We ferment them. Sit there and soak it in the cold water. That way it doesn't go bad. You don't want your meat to start souring on you, your furs either. So what you do next is you take it, you set this, grab it by your hand like this on his back, just like so. Lift it up. The reason you're lifting it up because you want those organs in his body to fall backwards so you're not cutting his intestines open and get spilled you know, all over the meat. Do a little slice so you can see what you're doing. See If you see the little clear liquids pour out, pour out, that's okay. You lift it up like this so you can see down in, can you see inside of there? Yes. You, you lift it up where you can see in there just like that. You see you got a clean, clear cut. Mm -hmm. Once you lift it up like that, you take that knife and just lightly run it up there. That way you know you're not hitting none of those organs. Just, you want to miss that urine urine sac especially. So, you take so it like where this. is the urine sac? This is the urine sac right here. You get this on the meat, you have to rinse it immediately because what happens, a lot of people say it'll make your meat rancid. What happens is people don't realize that urine... It's so acidic that it starts cooking the meat. So if you got to rinse it, like basically immediately, if you bust that, I take the break the um, intestines off right there, and then I just slide the, the organs down, and they slide just to fall out the front. See like that? Cut it, separates out, let it all fall down, pull the liver out. You separate your liver out, 
This is a poison sacral in the liver. I'll show you that real quick. The best way the to gall. The gall. You want to separate that. The best way to do it is to grab the liver. That little green. By this tip right here. And this is the gall right here. You bust that, it's poison. It ruins everything. Grab it by the tip so you don't squeeze it and explode it and just peel away from yourself. Comes right off just like so. Discard that. Throw this in your bucket of ice water. There you go. Got your liver to fry up later with some onions and gravy for breakfast or feed it to your dog, whichever you choose. Now, what are you using to cut those? These are a pair of shears, trimmer shears. You can get them to trim up roses or whatnot. I've noticed that if you take the, the ankles and bend them right there like so, you can take them. If you don't want to cut, like squeeze, just immediately squeeze. You want to feel for where that crease is in the ankle and just work it, is what I do. And I've got to where I can feel where it's right, where it slips right in between them and I just cut and it pulls right off. So look at that. Instead of being all broken up and nice all and jagged, clean. it's cut right at the um, joints so it's rounded. So being all messed up. I'm going to show you how to remove this bladder sack. Without getting poison everywhere. So what you do is you lift it up with your thumb like so. Pull it out a little bit. See that? You pull it out. Take your thumb. Make a circle around it. Like this. So it protects around because if it explodes, it'll explode away from your sack. See, just like so. See how it exploded just now? Mm -hmm. Exploded away. I'm going to pull that off and get it out of there so it's not dripping. Remove it. I got it all over my hands, so I'm going to rinse my hands so I don't get poison everywhere. Hands rinse. Come back to the job. Take it like so, you remove the kidneys. You can save them, cook them up. I throw them out to the chickens. We got chickens out here, it's high protein. For the, um, for to remove the lungs and the heart, there's a barrier right here that separates them from the other organs, a protective barrier. I just take the knife, because I'm not worried, there's nothing poisonous in there, so you don't have to worry about cutting any of the organs or damaging them or messing up your meat. So I literally just take it down and slide it all the way to his, where its neck was, like so, and pull down like this to cut the rib barrier, like so. And I slide my hands in there, separate that barrier with my fingers. See the lungs? I scoop them behind the lungs to get them out. See how I scoop them right out like that? See these two fingers? I scoop them right behind. Because it lives against the liver. You slide it down through the neck. Flat to the neck, you'll get the lungs, everything out in one strip. You see that? That's the lung right there. Oh, that's the esophagus, actually. Try to get all that out in one swoop. There's the part of the lungs with that white stuff. That's more esophagus. There we got all the insides moved out. There's a bone up here between the legs where more intestines are. The way I separate those, trade me sides real quick, Mom. The way I separate this is I just slide it right up because, like I said, we got that poison it sack out already so this point is just getting it cut up slide it right all the way through and then lift at an angle so it cuts right through that bone with no problem see that and there's any intestine or anything is slide up with your finger and pull away and that'll pull any poop or anything intestines out like so yeah get some on your hand sometimes yeah it's part of the job you get messy just rinse off and keep going And that's it right there. I'm gonna take the uh, the shears, cut the ankles off, high as possible. You want to save as much of meat as you can. Let's see, just like so. These ones, I'm not really worried about it breaking and breaking off because it's a pretty clear cut. It's not splintered rough. It's splintered a little bit, but I've seen it a way worse than that, y'all. So I peel the skin up a little bit. Try to get up underneath there, high as you can. You don't want to lose any of that meat. Break it off there. Take it over here and rinse it out. Bring it over here and you rinse them off. And your bucket of ice water that you have, rinse it all off, get any poop you have on it from gutting it or whatnot. I give it, always give it like a little, I take it black legs and I give them a little twist like this, a pop. You hear, you're doing it until you hear a pop. That's the joints breaking. These are pretty loose up here. They're good. I'm going to take this back side of back here. Do the same thing right here. See, the, see where these joints go right here? 
when they join like this, take this like this, you hear that pop? You mm -hmm. want to do it until you hear a pop like that. That means they're separated right there in between. And go back the other way until you hear a pop too. And take your meat, lay it down like so. Always spread it out like this. I start, I just follow the creases of the line. You find the joint where the joint is. Try to feel a pop, hear that pop sound, you know, you break that joint. Yep. Nope, oh, there it is, right there. Came wholly out, you even have to pop it. Popped out of stuff, sometimes, sometimes that happens. The whole leg joint just pop off. You throw it in your ice water. Take the other one for the same thing. Get it started right here. I see that line right here. See this kind of, you see a natural line. Do you see that right here around this edge right here? Mm -hmm. That's one whole piece right there. Take it, lift up. You see that? That's a cut right there. Take this like this. Completely separates the bone out. No cut needed. Easy peasy. Throw to the meat. Okay, we'll take this up here where we see these right here. I love these pieces. My favorite pieces, we use this for wraps around here. Let's see. Get a fillet. Now, I like to use a fillet knife on this. I like to get this as close to the back strip as I can, y'all. Be honest. Start right here. Just pull out like that. And lift up. That way it's putting the weight against it to pull it against that back strap. When you get to the ribs right here, you go from the outside. Still lift up. You don't want none of that rib bone. Pull up against it. Look at that. Gorgeous strap, y'all. For making wraps with. Wrap cabbage up. All kinds of stuff. Take it, basically repeat. Start the crease of them edge. Work its way up. Get to the ribs. See where the ribs are. Start at the top side of the ribs. Hold up. Separate out. The weight, half of the work is done by the weight of the body of the meat, of the rabbit. Oh, no biggie, just rinse it off. Next part, you do the separate the back strap, is what I like to separate next. Take it right here. It's real easy. Take the upper half, bow half. See where it breaks at. You hear that pop? Take this knife right here and go like this around the ribs on both sides. I go up, always go up on the ribs. You want to get as much as meat you can off that back strap. We don't like wasting meat on out here on the homestead. Give it a twist to separate the joints. Take a knife and separate it off like that. Got you a nice back strap there. Look at that. It's a nice piece of meat. You can separate it out. It's real thick and you can fillet it even if you could get in there and just fillet it right off if you wanted to. Or you can just barbecue it up that way and serve it. It'll fall right off the bone. Delicious. These are the arm pieces. Same way. You just take them. See, here. See where they're separating out right there? Real easy like, you just follow the joint lines. You see that, you got the whole shoulder and everything. Separate it out. We don't waste anything around here. Even this leftover piece, I'll tell you what we're gonna do with it in a second. Get as much of the meat as you can off that. Look at that. Look at all that meat. See there, I'm sitting there using a fillet knife so that way I can go against the ribs to get as much of that and neck to get as much of that shoulder meat as I can. Neck meat. Look at that. That's just solid meat right there, y'all. You raise these rabbits right, they'll do you right. You barely feed your rabbits and give them what the minimum amount is, you're going to have skinny rabbits when it's butcher time.
You want to give your rabbits as much as they'll eat. What we do with this piece right here, this is what we call scrap. I like to make uh, gravy out of this and stuff. My mom likes and stew. My mom likes to use uh, this for dog food sometimes. You know, times get hard. People are going to need um, dog food, different items like that. You know, when times are getting bad, people think toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. Well, you got if you have animals, you're going to need to feed your dogs too. So you always save your scraps. You can cook it, completely cook it down so it's nothing grinded up even. So it's like a hamburger and cook it for them. We save that, throw it in this bucket over here. That's it, guys. Till next time, like and subscribe.